Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I jump into today's topic. I want to quickly mention. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith. Otherwise known as Bigood 4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. In the comment section of my last video. One of my subscribers mentioned something along these lines that a narcissist can convince people out there that you are the problem. And I wanted to make a video on this subject because this is a very important fact for you to come to terms with. That's right. Because here's the thing. Most people try to run around to explain. And re-explain themselves to all of these people the narcissist has talked to about us. And in most cases it's a lost cause. Now I will say this. A good friend of mine from many years ago. Realized my mother had a serious problem and that she was lying about me to him. But this is something he spoke to me about. In the middle of all of that. I went about my business and lived my life. Albeit getting tangled up with my ex Susie. But even then before learning about narcissism. I realized there was nothing I could do about it. And it wasn't worth trying to repair or trying to get this person to see the truth. Also. And I bet this is something many of you have felt in these situations. And that's embarrassment. Having the narcissist in your life. Contacting this person and that person. Talking about you is just flat out embarrassing. And even if this other person doesn't believe what the narcissist is saying about you. Oftentimes this person after hearing all of what the narcissist has to say. They don't want to have anything to do with you or the narcissist because they don't want to be a part of the drama having you two in their life brings. All of this is important because it teaches us how to have boundaries. Here's an example. A good friend of mine. When we first met. Didn't right away bring me to his home with his family. It actually took a few years before he did such a thing. And during this few years. He was more than likely vetting me as a friend. Making sure my words matched my actions. Making sure I was honest. And I wasn't going to do something negative or bad if he brought me around his family. And guess what? This is a good boundary to have. Well the same holds true with letting people know where you work specifically. Or information regarding your family or close friends. Because you could be bringing someone bad around your good situation without even knowing it. But to many of us that grew up in homes with a narcissistic parent or parents. We weren't taught this. We were taught to not have boundaries at all. So. We fall for the love bombing of this new narcissist in our lives. And we quickly bring this narcissist to a work party. Or around a few friends we might have. And then before you know it. When things go bad, we find out this narcissist in our life has been spending all of this time turning these people that were already in our lives against us. Because the narcissist doesn't in most cases just wake up one day and start talking about us badly to others. No 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 no. What they do is over time they plant negative seeds to slowly get people to start to see us in a different light. To slowly get these people we were once close to us to now see us as someone that is bad. And the simple fact is. The narcissist does this not only to gain narcissistic supply. Because they love to lie. They literally love to lie. And it gives them a type of energetic charge when they do so. But they also tell lies about us. Because they don't want us to have anyone to help us. Or to be there for us. Once the narcissist throws us to the side and leaves with a new fresh target. You see. There are times when the narcissist will show back up in our lives 5 years later. 1 year later or 20 years later. Or if you have nothing to offer them anymore. Never. That's right. In some cases you may never see this narcissist again. And deep down inside I think the narcissist knows if they will be back in your life in the future or not. 
and if they know they will never see you again. And you have nothing more to offer them. They still want you to have no friends. Know nothing when they get up. And leave you broken on the side of the road. They don't want you to have a support system of any kind. And they purposely talk to these people in your life because they want you completely and utterly alone. Because here's the thing. That's really how the narcissist feels. Because each and every interaction a narcissist has with people is fake. And when they see you laughing. And they see that others like you. They like you because you are who you are. And they know it's not faked. They think that if they can't have a real genuine friendship. Then you shouldn't have one either. Look. There are still good people out there. Yes. I know the world is getting harder. It seems like that narcissism is getting to become more and more normal. And possibly this really might be the case. But seeing and reading all of the comments on my videos. Let's me know. There are still people out there that have good in their hearts. Not perfect people by any stretch. Because none of us are perfect. But people that are trying to do their best. And that have love and care in their hearts for others. And it's seeing that. That says to me it's okay to meet people. It's okay to go out there and have some fun. And to get to know someone new. But there has to be a balance. And there has to be boundaries. Because not just narcissists. But those that may carry a few of their toxic traits. They might turn and before you know it. They are talking to your best friend about you. Or talking to your boss about you. And in that. You understand it's okay. To keep work work. And your new friend or someone you might be dating separate from that. Same thing with your friends and someone new you are getting to know. It's okay to be careful. It's okay to vet someone and make sure they are on the up and up. Because narcissists are really good at causing chaos. And they are really good at getting someone really decent at losing good friends over lies. The other thing to keep in mind. The narcissist is going to do all of this first with their friends. Because this is the easiest thing for them to do. If it's a dating situation. They will tell these friends of theirs how sweet and awesome you are to begin with. Then they will slowly sow the seeds of doubt. They might slowly talk about how you have a temper. And they will do this with your friends too. But it's much easier to do with their friends as they will have more of a chance to do so. They will say anything they can about you that is easy for them to sow the seeds of doubt about you in these people's minds. So when things do go bad. They will have these people on their side. Also if there are situations where you do bring someone new around a friend. Keep the interactions brief. Though you should really vet this person over a long period of time. If a situation happens where you do have to bring this person around your friends. Keep the interactions brief. Such as you meet up for dinner. You chat for a short bit then you leave. Don't sit around talking for a few hours. Because this leaves room for this new person possibly when you're not present. Maybe you have to get up and leave the room for whatever reason. And this person you're with can say things about you in the 5 minute time period that can put doubt in a good friend or co-worker's mind about you. But jumping back to their friends really quick. Except this is going to happen. And do not get caught in the back and forth he said she said with people that aren't your friends to begin with. You really shouldn't be getting involved in the he said she said anyway. But these are people you will probably never see again. And sitting on the phone with these people trying to plead your case is pointless. All you can do is live your best life. Live and learn. And have boundaries. Because as for me. I meet new people. I'm not afraid to meet someone new. However. However. I understand the importance of vetting someone. And I know the dangers of bringing someone that isn't vetted properly around people that I care about including my job. With that said. I do thank you for your great comments. I do appreciate your input. Because the more we share. The more we grow. You really never know who you are helping out there. With that said. 
Please don't forget to subscribe to be a part of this channel's growth. And please click the little bell to be notified each and every time I make a new video. And don't forget to share and like to let YouTube know this content is important to you. Also, if you would like to support even further you can do so by the way of Patreon. And if you are already supporting by the way of Patreon, I humbly say thank you. With that said, I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time, bye for now. And be good to yourself.